Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Memorial Freeze video. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the buffs that are going to be coming to the first anniversary gacha unit, or as it's called in the title of this video, the balance update for the rerun Grand Day gacha units. I've been waiting for this for years now because the Grand Day gacha units, or the first anniversary units, never got a buff the second anniversary units got a buff the third anniversary units got a buff but the first anniversary units never received a buff so this is the first and probably the only buffs that they will ever receive so i'm very excited to check out what these units are capable of doing these are some of my favorite units so of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more down machi and down machi memorial freeze content and let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the buffs do you like them do you dislike them let me know i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say down below now if you guys want to take a look at my units, the, the Grand Day Gacha units that I have, of course, right? I have every single one of them, if I'm not mistaken. So if I go over to Fire, right? You can see I have Honor Succession Bell Grenell at plus 5. I also have Lafia at plus 5. If I take a look at uh, Eyes, who should be in the Nun category for the moment. Or no, they've already changed her. I think they've already changed her. Let's take a look. Wind. Yes, they have already changed her. Have they already changed the buffs? Okay, they've already put the buffs in game as well. We'll take a look at this later on. I want to take a look at them in game later on and I'll probably do a showcase for them. I didn't realize that the buffs are already applied in game to be quite honest. Like I've been saying over the last couple of days, I've had no internet in the house. So I've had no idea on whether the buffs have already been applied or will they be arriving later tomorrow, you know, when the usual update time happens. I had no idea, but it seems like they've already been added to the game. And I assume that means Hestia as well. If you take a look at the four stars and we go over to the Celestial Flame Hestia from ages and ages ago, we can see that her buffs have also been applied, of course, right? So that's fantastic. I did see the buffs yesterday, by the way. I know I'm a little bit late on this video. The buffs came out yesterday, but I've only had the opportunity to sit down and check whether or not the translations I did for those buffs because I translated those buffs and put them in my Discord were right. I didn't know if they were right or wrong, to be quite honest. I felt like I was a little bit 50-50 on it, to be quite honest, because the images that they shared initially, right, the Japanese images that they shared on Twitter, they were kind of hard to read. So I decided to actually be like, you know, if I'll try and translate it as much as possible, and then I'll wait for, of course, them to, you know, post it on their website, basically. And that's what we're here to see, basically. We're here on the website to see the adjustments, and I'm so looking forward to seeing how they've changed these units in more detail. Now, let's take a look at Honor Succession Bell Cronel first and foremost. So these are the stats adjustments. Now, of course, I don't expect to see any stats adjustments to the HP and MP, which is a damn shame on the HP side of things. I think the MP you can kind of get away with. And in fact, arguably, as long as the MP requirements aren't adjusted, I think that's actually more beneficial because with the MP regen, you're going to gain more MP back technically percentages wise. However, the HP being low is unfortunately a big, big problem. Of course, this is something I spoke about when we talked about the third anniversary units, right? It's something I was hoping that the first anniversary units would get in the form of an HP bonus, but alas, it is what it is. I wasn't expecting that to change, and clearly, they haven't changed it. The strength goes from 1481 to 1738. Let's take a look at actually the Hero Ascension stats. That's better. Yeah, 1831 to 2088. Thumbs up there. Endurance also gets a bit of a boost to uh, 713, which is solid. Dexterity goes up only to 737, which is all right. Agility being 1063 is not bad. I don't think that's terrible at all. Of course, you see some uh, units having like 1100, 1200 agility, right? Obviously, the 1200 agility you see more on Hero Festa units. Now, one thing I want to mention actually before we get into the kit itself, right? Remember, these units aren't meant to power creep Hero Festa units. There's no chance in hell they would allow buffs to the first anniversary units to make them as strong as, you know, Hero Festa units. That's not going to happen, right? We don't, we shouldn't be expecting that whatsoever. Instead, what people should be expecting, right, is to see them being a capable enough supporting unit, a unit that's capable of supporting the team in some way, shape or form. And that is exactly what I want to see from these units, a unit that can easily slot into one of the teams that are dominating right now. And I think that's the most important thing. 
Magic goes from 410 to 492, which isn't too crazy. Um, I don't think we should be paying too much attention to that stat at all, to be quite honest, even though his special arts is magic and we'll talk about that in a moment so because it's obviously the first thing we'll talk about that right now actually so if you guys didn't know uh bell is a unit that had a fire magic attack on his special arts even though as you can see his strength stat is the highest but that's because his magic attack on his special arts was indexed to the strength stat which is completely different to what units nowadays do which is of course straight up oh physical equals strength magic equals magic bell was i think the last unit to be indexed to a certain stat and have a completely different typing for his special arts it was very very different and it's something i wish they did more of but alas it is what it is of course right um because i think at the end of the day when it came to especially like uh pve content right it made sense for them to stop doing it because then you know even though your um you know skill one skill two and skill three are physical attacks and then your, you know, special arts is a magic attack. Well, where is the magic res going to come from, right? Magic res reduction and, and stuff like that. So I can see why they might have gone away from the whole index to STR thing with the uh, special arts and everything. But it's something I would like to see and maybe like the skill 3 or the skill 2 potentially, right? Go for a different route, change it up a little bit, make it more interesting. And I wish they, you know, did that. I really wish they did that. So his special arts is or originally was... A AoE Ultra Fire Magic Attack indexed to STR with temporary strength boost. Now, in the modern era, in uh, today's game, it is Ultra Fire Magic Attack indexed to STR with temporary great strength boost and ultra critical rate and P res and fire res minus 60% for three turns and removes STR and magic buffs. That's not bad, I would say. That's not bad at all. I think that's pretty solid, to be quite honest. That is actually pretty solid. Um, okay, so his first skill now is uh, sharpness, or, or was, I should say. Let's start off with the was, then we'll go to the now. It's a It was a AoE low physical attack with self-STR plus 75% for four turns. Now, however, it is a mid-fire physical attack with ultra and counter rate and removes wind attack damage buffs and STR and magic minus 40% and self-fire attack damage, P-res and M-res plus 60% for four turns and three additional actions of mid-fire physical attack on foes and 60% HP regen for one turn on self. Okay, very interesting. Very stall-like, I would say. Very stall-like over here, you know? Uh, being able to remove wind attack damage buffs. Um, What is he trying to counter there? I'm trying to think. What are you even trying to counter there? What, what PvP team has wind attack damage buffs? I guess the Windrush team with Radari and stuff, but even then, no... Okay, but STR and Magic minus 40%, the P res and M res plus 60% makes sense. And then, of course, he gives himself HP regen. We're very interesting. I assume the STR is going to go to the last skill, probably, because the second skill definitely ain't it, Chief. Um, the second skill was a single target high physical attack with temporary strength boost. Now, it's a super fire physical attack damage plus 80% per each self STR buff skill. Not bad at all. Of course, it's only 160% damage boost, but it's still decent for a first anniversary unit receiving a buff to be quite honest um the last skill sweeping strike was a high physical attack with temporary strength boost and p res minus 10 percent for four turns look at the numbers difference we've gone from minus 10 percent to now having like minus 40 minus 50 and minus 60 percent honestly crazy um it is now dealing a super fire physical attack with temporary strength boost and high on god rate and p res minus 40 percent and self str plus 75 percent for four turns so yeah it went from the first skill to the third skill and it also removes any p res and m res debuffs and any aoe damage increasing uh debuffs as well which is really solid again these are skills that will help you out in basically taking less damage again i think they've made this bell sort of like a semi stall unit which is very interesting to say the least i think it is very very interesting to say the least uh, it's pretty cool in that regards i would say it's pretty cool um in terms of his uh passives Liara's free still sticks. Um, fire manifestation, of course, he gets this wind res and counter ability, of course, right? All status plus 35% makes sense. He needed that. Ailment res and has gone from 15 to 35%. And P res and M res 20%. Okay, makes sense in that regards. Of course, um, kind of a shame that the 3% HP regen per turn disappeared. It would have been nice to get it attached to one of these, maybe as an additional uh, passive, in all honesty. Maybe 5% HP regen. Um, okay, next up we have Honor Princess Eyes Wallenstein. Now, Honor Princess Eyes Wallenstein was the last unit we received that had no element. 
she was the last unit that had zero elements attached to her no fire no water no thunder no nothing now however as you saw at the start of this video she has been given the wind element so she has been uh, stripped away of that novelty unfortunately and i think it would have been cool to get, uh, keep uh, her with no element to be quite honest i know that the aim of these balance adjustments was to make so that uh, or make sure that these units were capable of being in the meta but i would have loved to see a brand new spanking fifth anniversary sixth anniversary leveled unit that was uh elementalist you know i would have loved to see it i would have absolutely adored to see it you know um but let's take a look at the stats so the stats are are they the same one second they're the same right 2088 2088 713 718 okay so close enough 737 737 1057 1063 it's nearly the same it is nearly the same it's obviously magic stats different but the stats are literally identical to here uh bell F very funny there very funny there wfs um of course the hp stat is still very low the mp stat is not as bad i don't think oh no it's the same yeah no never mind it's the same um but yeah i mean <laughs> that is kind of funny i was like I'm pretty sure the stats are the same. Why are they the same? Um, but okay, no problem. Um, so let's take a look at the special arts and skills now. So before the adjustments, Radiant Little Rafaga was the single target ultra physical attack with temporary strength boost. Like I said, it had no element attached to it. After adjustment, Radiant Little Rafaga is a single target ultra wind physical attack damage plus 90% per 8 self STR buff skill. So 180% damage bonus there solid i would say ultra critical rate self str and wind attack damage plus 120 percent for three turns and then four additional actions of high wind physical attack with high crit rate and status debuff plus two turns on foe and wind attack damage plus 100 percent for three turns on allies really solid actually this is not a bad ability honestly i think that she will have her place in uh, the wind team potentially if you do want to run a wind single target team i think she can hold her own uh being able to deal a decent amount of damage on uh you know the special arts itself giving herself SR wind attack damage and then furthermore giving herself four additional actions that are capable of hitting uh pretty hard i think it's pretty solid over there nothing too crazy but solid i would say solid is the way to go about it now before adjustment blade dance is a single target mid attack a mid physical attack with temporary strength boost and SR minus 30 percent for four turns after adjustments uh blade dance is now an aoe Midwind physical attack, very interesting, with temporary strength boost and ultra and counter rate and str magic and heal minus 40% and self 70 uh, str 75% for four turns, and three additional actions of midwind physical attack with high crit rate and status debuff plus two turns on foes and wind attack damage plus 60% for three turns on allies. Very interesting that they made her a AoE attacker here. This is very similar to basically how they designed um the finn and of course the new hero festa eyes of course right um going for some aoe attacks on the uh skills and then the single target skill uh single target special arts basically is existing right so it's kind of like a blended attacker effectively which is very interesting now i remember yesterday when i was translating it right i thought that that last part the wind attack damage was basically damage increased by 60% from aoe attacks which would have been insane on a skill one it would have been ridiculous but of course turns out i was just translating it wrong i realized that quite immediately i checked it like three four times then i realized it's just wind attribute damage and i was like oh for heaven's sakes it because it was super blurry the text was super blurry so i couldn't really understand and i was like huh what's happening here um but yeah the, that was my mistake thankfully i corrected it and it is actually wind attack damage plus 60 percent for three turns um the second skill face slicer was a single target mid physical attack with temporary strength boost and p res minus 20 percent for four turns now it is a fast high wind physical attack that is aoe with temporary strength boost and p res wind res minus 35 percent for one turn and also removes guard rate counter rate heal boss and hp regen very interesting skill right here honestly I think they should have just gone down the single target route. I'm not a big fan of the first and second skills, but our, alas, it is what it is. The third skill, Stiletto. Oh my god. It's been a while since I've read the words Stiletto. It used to be a word I would say a lot of times in live streams and stuff, right? Whenever I would stream on Twitch. This was way back when. Um, when the first year was still going on, we were into the second year. I was still using Honor Prince's eyes. Remember saying the word stiletto way too many times on live stream. Um, single target, low physical attack, and self STR plus 75% for four turns is what it was. Now, however, it is a single target, super wind physical attack, damage plus 80%. Per each target, speed res reduction skill and ultra on guard rate. Not bad at all. 
solid again. Again, same as Bell, it's a solid single target skill. Would have been appreciated if it could go up to 90% per damage reduction, uh, per P res reduction or per STR buff skill and whatever. But it is what it is. I think this is still decent for a first anniversary unit receiving a buff, to be quite honest. Um, in terms of the uh, passives, obviously we get the earth res and everything. The counter turns into wind attacks and stuff. You get the bonuses, STR, Endurance, Agility, Dexterity, plus 35%. This is very nice. 3% uh, MP regen per turn turns to 8% HP and MP regen per turn. Thumbs up there. You get an Inherent Poison res, and then, of course, Ailment res goes from 15 to 35%. Very solid overall. Elf's Honor, Lefia, a unit that I used to use a lot. And to be quite honest, if they turn her out to be uh, a decent option, you know, she could very well fit into that Fire of Magic team, potentially, right? Um, so let's take a look at her stats first and foremost. So, of course, MP, HP doesn't change. Um, Endurance goes up by 100 points, which is good. Dexterity goes up by 150. Agility goes up by nearly 200, which is solid. And then Magic goes up by 300. Thumbs up there. Very solid um, improvements overall, in my personal opinion. All right, let's take a look at the uh, special arts. Um, Har Rare Lavatin uh, is now or was originally an AoE Ultra Fire Magic Attack with Temporary Magic Boost and is now a Ultra Fire Magic Attack damage plus 70% per each target's MRES Reduction skill and of course it's an AoE attack and Ultron God Rate and Allies Fire Attack damage and Crit Rate plus 100% for 3 turns. Not bad at all. Kindling is an AoE Low Fire Magic Attack and Self Magic plus 75% for 4 turns and now it is an AoE Mid Fire Magic Attack with Ultra and Counter Rate and Agility, Dexterity, God Rate minus 40% for 4 turns and removes Fire Res buffs and 3 additional actions of Mid Fire Magic Attack on foes and Critical Rate and Penetration Rate plus 50% for 2 turns on allies. Now this is way more interesting than the Special Arts. The Special Arts is very straightforward, I don't think there's anything to talk about and write home about to be honest. This, however, is very interesting because what this does is it removes fire res buffs. And of course, as you guys may or may not know, right now there is a little bit of a menace uh, running amongst the streets of Stall. And that is, of course, the Hero Festa Water Bell, who does have, of, of course, fire res. So being able to strip away fire res buffs will be really useful for fire magic team users, honestly. She'll be really solid in that regards. Um, so keep that in mind, of course. Uh, before adjustment, Laid Waste did a single target high fire magic attack with temporary magic boost. And then after adjustments, it's exactly the same as everybody else. Super fire magic attack damage plus 80% per 8 self magic buff skill. They didn't literally, they literally gave all three units the same single target skill. Crazy. Okay, fair enough. After adjustment, Immolation is now an AoE fast high fire magic attack with temporary magic boost and MRES minus 40% and self magic fire attack damage plus 70% for 4 turns. Not bad at all. And then, of course, if you look at the passives, of course, right, we get that Wind Res, we get the uh, Magic Agility, Endurance, and uh, Dexterity boost from 10% only to 40%. And, of course, Magic and Agility get added. Damage 20% upon Crit and Penetration, which is a thumbs up. And then 10% HP regen per turn, along with a boost from 15 to 35% Ailment Res. Thumbs up there. Very solid passive adjustments, I would say. This is a really solid one. And then Ceremonial Flame Hestia goes from 2 Null Ailments at MLB to three null ailments and instead of it just being dexterity and endurance plus 15 percent it is now agility dexterity and endurance plus 15 percent which is nice i think it's not crazy it's nice i would have preferred honestly i wouldn't have minded being the same with dexterity and endurance staying the same to be quite honest and no agility i think we needed null, null ailment times four i don't know why both seer and this hestia didn't get the boost to times four. I don't understand why. I, I just simply don't get it. I don't see the reason why they don't just allow us to basically use these units. I mean, for heaven's sakes, you give Asfi, for example, in, um, in uh, you know, the third anniversary rerun, the 25% damage increase from single target attacks, but you can't give an extra null ailments to either Hestia or Seer. I don't get it. I simply don't get it. This is something that they should have done in all honesty. I, I I think this is the only thing I'm kind of annoyed by in terms of the whole buffs. I like the buffs. Even, even Hestia's, I don't mind this agility bonus buff to be quite honest. But I do think that this is a missed opportunity that they missed twice now. Which is a damn shame. It, it really is a damn shame. But otherwise, honestly, you know... Like I said, I wasn't expecting them to be Hero Festa level. And they did say extensive buffs will be coming. And these are... Arguably outside of Hestia, I would say all of these are extensive buffs. I will be using them in um, the upcoming season of uh, war games, of course, right? 
I will be using them. We will be there. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. I will be using them. Um, so hopefully you guys tune in to those videos. I will be making videos on these guys as well. And uh, I hope you guys like the buffs. I think, you know, these buffs are pretty solid. They're nothing crazy. I do think that they could be a little bit better, you could argue, right? Um, and actually, one thing I'm going to do here is I want to actually check one thing, right? Um, if you take a look at a bell, for example, right? I want to see what his stats look like in game. Um, or we can check a uh, eyes, for example, right? Um, so this eyes is without a hero ascension, so I will have to hero ascend all of them. I think. I think eyes I haven't hero ascended. Have I hero ascended Bell? No, Bell is not hero ascended. Oof, that's gonna be dicey. Lafia is hero ascended. So yeah. These are our stats with CP levels, as you can see. So expect to see something similar to these boosts uh, from Bell and Eyes as well. But yeah, I cannot wait to use these. I will probably be hero sending them. I'm not going to lie. Uh, just because, of course, I can. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these buffs. I really like them, to be quite honest. I'm very much looking forward to them. And uh, of course, um, I will be probably streaming Don Mimo later tonight, I think. Of course, because... We do have the final story coming to the game. Of course, if you guys didn't know, the final original story will be dropping tonight. And that is, of course, if I'm not mistaken, uh, where is it? If you take a look right here in the news, maybe. Is it in the news? No, I don't think they have put it in the news here, unfortunately. But we do know that at the end of the uh, uh, tomorrow that we are getting the Memoria Freeze short story. It's five stories, five episodes. And it's supposed to be the end of effectively Dan Mimo. Obviously, for those stories, they did say that we have to read the entirety of the 6th anniversary story. So, of course, keep that in mind. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the update and, of course, these buffs. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.